Ok, deux et assez. Ouais, il est dans... Ouais, il est dans ce point-là. Master Chef. Chat, season 5, episode 1, intro. So it goes. Chess? If not, it is perfect for Twitch. Oh, no spoiler Andes. Don't be weird. This season is different, it works differently. Uh, I, 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 I guess I'll find out. show in the world. Right now, the search is on for a new champion. Change title? Yeah, I'm on title, please. From coast to coast, they came. Bring their own story. I'm a marine. I'm a waiter. I'm a real estate agent. I'm a salesman. I'm a school teacher. I'm a student. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm a stay-at-home dad. Hey! And for the 30 best home cooks who earned the chance, they'll have to prove themselves to three of the biggest names in the culinary world. Michelin star chef, Ram Elliott. World-renowned restaurateur, Joe Bastianich. And culinary legend, Gordon Ramsay. This year, the competition will be bigger and more challenging than ever before. You've got 60 guests, the bride and groom, and their wedding! Now, the stage is set. For America's top home cooks to do battle. Save your place in the MasterChef kitchen. Ah, uh, spoilers. After an extensive nationwide search, the MasterChef judges have selected the top 30 best home cooks in America to battle it out for a white apron in the MasterChef kitchen. Wait, what? I've been cooking since I was like 12. Now, I'm in the MasterChef top 30. You have beat thousands and thousands of people. I said, this is real. I'm super passionate about food. I want to write cookbooks. I don't want to go home with my tail between my legs. I want that apron. I don't enter competitions that I don't plan on winning. I'm confident enough that I know I'm going to get an apron. It's just, when am I going to get an apron? I am a law school graduate, but I was born into a family that cooks a lot. My dream is to open up a restaurant. Getting that apron will really ignite who I am in my journey here in life. But top 30. The oh, yeah, their apron starts now. right now in this kitchen. I'm getting an apron. The rest of you guys figure it out amongst yourselves. I'm here to do this. Welcome to the Master Chef Kitchen. You are about to do battle in the biggest culinary competition anywhere in the world today. This is the search for the best home cook in America. One of you 30 home cooks standing here before us will become America's Holy next shit. master chef. Damn, look at, he looks One looking of you sharp. home cooks will win a quarter of a million dollars. One of you will be immortalized in the kitchens of America with your very own cookbook. And that's not all. There's another prize. The MasterChef Trophy. This trophy is the validation of one person's incredible journey from home cook to MasterChef. Before any of you get near that trophy, you still have to earn one of these. Open. A MasterChef apron. <laughs> Win an apron, and you are in with the chance of becoming this year's master chef. If you don't win one, well, you go home. We care Wait. about one thing and one thing only, and that is what you put on a plate. Are you ready to face the challenge that can earn you a master chef apron? Are you ready? Is it right? yes! Yes! You'll be given just one hour to conceive, create, and plate one stunning dish. On the face of it, this challenge is simple. Please turn over your chopping boards. 
Leave themselves on a plate there. Oh, uh, what exactly does this mean? When I saw myself in the mirror, I was like, damn, I look good. But I have no idea what's in store. To win an apron, we need you to put yourself on a plate. This is your chance to create a dish that speaks to us about you. Think about your life story and put it on that plate. Show us your signature dish. My signature dish is coriander crusted shrimp because I'm from Louisiana. This is me on a plate with a little bit of Latina. I'm going to make a venison chimichurri. I'm a hunter. I cook venison all the time. It's a homage to me and, and where I grew up. This is me on a plate. When you go into the pantry, look around. Look at all the incredible items you have at your fingertips. You won't find a better pantry anywhere in the world. Use those ingredients to showcase you in your signature dish. Oh, just one more thing. Not all of you are going to make it through the next hour. They better move at As least ten. Cook, we'll be watching your every move, and if we don't like what we see, you will be going home immediately. It's insane that they will pull people in the middle of their cook. I'm not going to lie, it is terrifying. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef! Your one hour starts now. Good luck. Yeah, Graham deflated it. Oh. The competition begins not at the ranges, but in the pantry. Yeah, this, this, is this, is this, is this isn't a signature dish. You have to be disciplined right. deciding which of these ingredients they want to cook with. You got to stay clear to your ideas. Excuse me, excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm making my white wine apricot chicken. Ooh. This dish is something that I would do at home. I can really show who I am as a person and then tell my competitors, oh, hey. you need to be watching out. Oh, really, my chemicals. <laughs> I love my chemicals, really. My strengths as a cook really come from my love of technology. I do a lot of molecular gastronomy, which involves powders and chemicals. To get this apron, it really means everything. So he said, so what? Molecular gastronomy, which involves powders and chemicals. Astronomy, OK. To get this apron, it really means everything to me. Oh my God. Let's go. I'm coming. This is a one now, Dali. Oh, gas me. Wow. So okay. the biggest search we've ever had. Yep. These are the 30 finalists, the 30 best home cooks in America. We know that these guys can cook. The question is, can they do what they do here in the MasterChef kitchen? We're going to eliminate someone immediately. What are we looking for? The way they're organized, disorganized. Are they caked in flour? The knife work's got to be right. They've got to be clean. That is the very basis. making peanut butter bread pudding with a mixed berry compote, chocolate covered pretzels, and a little creme fraiche sauce. It shows who I am. I elevate comfort food to a higher level. I'm taking a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and turning it into something you could put on a restaurant menu. Go, 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 go. I'm using chicken liver ravioli with a fresh made ricotta. Reducing down probably most of the bottle of wine, some champagne vinegar. I'm gonna crush everybody under my techniques, and then I'm gonna be making some fresh dough here in a minute. Okay, bro. Today I am making blueberry goat cheese and basil hand pies. I've always loved food, but it's only been in the last year or so that I really realized that I don't want to be working in a cubicle for the rest of my life. I want to be cooking for the rest of my life. And I think something as crazy as being on MasterChef is going to give me the courage to take hold of my dreams. I want an apron with with every part of my being. I, I, I want to be here so bad and prove that I can do this. Okay. And I know that I can. I know I can. Come on. Dan. This smells good. What is it? It's my uh, ramen stock. I got Ooh, some yeah, chicken, chicken bones. I got okay. dashi in there. I'm going to add a little soy sauce. It's got aromatics, some ginger, some garlic. It smells amazing. Let's go, guys. Willie, right, what are you doing? And right now, I'm making my sauce for my chicken. What's in there? Apricot preserves, white wine, but I am adding a kick to it, so it is all going to balance out. Good luck. Tyler. Hey, Chef, how are you? Good, good. What are you making? Venison. Is this sauce finished already? Uh, yes, sir. It's a chimichurri. Are you done? What is that? That's good. You might want to make sure you go back and taste that. Gavin. Yes, sir. You're making so many things. You're doing the ricotta. 
Yes. Yeah, do you make a fresh pasta? Yes. Uh, why something so complicated? Because you know what? I don't think anybody here else has the techniques that I Ooh, do. Oh, damn. So that is the... You can cut for sure. <laughs> Taste it quick. What's the one thing that needs? Seasoning. Salt. <laughs> Bugger. I've broken my syringe and I have absolutely no idea what to do. I brought this from home. They don't have them here. I need a syringe to pump my spaghetti with these. All of you, stop! Knives down, now! I told you, we're watching every move. We told you, some of you will not make it through the hour. Oh boy, better not call out my name. He did call out the salt issue. I fixed that immediately. Hopefully, 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 he doesn't call Nice bow tie, what is my that? My syringe broke right at the beginning of all my magic molecular This guy's done. Looks. So at this point, I'm thinking, I got no chance. I know my chimichurri was a mess, but I can make it better. To be handed an apron means everything. I can't go home. Right now, one of you will be leaving Master Chef. They have did it. They have, did it. They have start on the stove. Wrap it up, man. Holy shit! Twenty five. Wrap minutes it up. To go. It's the first day in the Master Chef kitchen for thirty home cooks who are preparing their signature dishes in hopes of winning a coveted white apron. All of you, stop. We told you, some of you will not make it through the hour. Gavin. From the minute you started cooking, you've forgotten the most important ingredient. You're not tasting anything as you cook. Salt. Chicken liver pate, bland. It's just not MasterChef. Turn off your gas. You are out of the competition. What? The rest of you, continue. Oh, my god. There's a lot of pressure in the kitchen, you know, going into this. I was like, oh, it's not going to be that hard. It's like the and only good with film we saw so far. With going on around you. It's a lot more difficult uh, than I thought. 20 minutes to go. You'll play, really you'll focus play, on you in. on a plate. Francis, how are you doing? Yo, I had a little emergency. My syringe broke, so I've had to figure out another way to make my tomato spaghetti. What the hell are you doing around with a syringe at such a critical stage? You know what? I live life on the edge. I'm going to make it. How are you going to utilize this? How are you going to get this back? Hoping that this squeeze bottle and tube can work. Please fit. Good luck. Just kick him out already. I'm making a ricotta and gnocchi and a brown butter sage sauce with some peas. When I was in my senior year of college, I was taking 18 credits. I had five jobs, and I still couldn't pay my rent. So five I had jobs? to make the decision to go work in a gentleman's club. But I can't be an entertainer forever. But I can be a cook forever. This is the most important dish in my entire life right now. Yes, I have to get that white apron. I gotta be here tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, all the way until I get that MasterChef trophy. All right, Natanya, what are you doing? This is my uh, lemon butter caper sauce. Is there wine in there? A little bit. Like raw wine still? Yeah. You should taste that. Really? Really, yeah, really. Elizabeth has the dish coming together great. The uh, peanut butter bread pudding is in the oven, mm -hmm. and this is the mixed berry compote to go on top. Uh, let me put a look. Right, is that going to cook in time? I, I, I hope so, quick. Chef. Yeah. Why do you do them so deep in such a big mold? Um, I just wanted you to get in there, and so it's not fully cooked through the beginning. Yeah, I want to be a little soft. Why not cook it in a flat tray? You've still got mix there left, haven't you? Okay, yeah. Get it in flat, you okay. know, like you're making a brownie. Okay. So, some pretty good dishes out there. Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah, there were some I mean, surprises. Dan's ramen dish. Awesome. Pure, authentic, courageous cooking. Simple, yeah. right but on. But Tyler's got his chimichurri down. It's Time. nice that yeah. he's rethinking exactly. it. Exactly. Willie, I mean, he's playing to his friends. And then the sauce, the pan yeah. dripping, he shows skill. But there's some there that didn't push the boat out good enough. And then we've got minutes left. Everybody knives down. Again. Natanya, turn your gas off. Okay. Your sauce is broken, over acidulated, raw wine, too many technical errors. Please leave the MasterChef kitchen. Okay. Damn. All of you, eight 
minutes to go. Eight minutes to keep yourself in the competition. Come on, let's go. Seasoning, plating. We want to see beautiful dishes as well as delicious dishes. Taste everything before it goes on that plate. 45 seconds to go. Let's go, guys. Pull it together. This is it. Get it sauced, get it wiped, get it garnished. Save your place in the MasterChef kitchen. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. No, oh, this looks good, to be honest. Well done. Even from here, some of those dishes look and smell oh. delicious. After observing and sampling all of the dishes throughout the challenge, the judges will now take one final taste to determine which home cooks will receive a MasterChef apron and move on to the next stage of the competition. Your technique is good, but I'm just not sure if it's worth my time taking you to the next level. It's good. It's sweet. Is this the absolute best that you could have done? These hand pies are good. One yucky. Oh. I'm a third generation Italian. I wanted to take something that was from home mm -hmm. and make it into something that was mine. So fresh ricotta mixed through? Yes. Mm -hmm. It actually tastes better than it looks. Why is this you on a plate? I am a person of color. I love sweet, salty, and different textures. So this right here is bringing all those things together. It's Master Chef, not Junior Master Chef. That was more funky. Bold move. Make a dessert. If we call your name, come down here and receive your Master Chef white apron. That apron in his hand, it represents so much. That's going to lead me to the title of Master Chef. I just cooked my soul on that plate. It's like, put me out of my misery and say my name. <laughs> if I can take something as humble okay. as a PBJ and turn it into something that you'd want to eat at a restaurant, the apron is just like floating in front of my mind. The first apron belongs yeah, to. How big is that? Courtney. I came here with a dream. Now it's really coming true. Well done. Thank you. Uh, definitely you on a plate. Authentic, brave, tenacious. It's incredibly delicious. Uh, it should annoy me a little bit, but whatever. Thank you. Master Chef is going to give me the tools that I need to create a new profession for myself. Wow. I'm so proud of myself. There's another okay. home cook whose dish showed us what this home cook was all about. I put myself on that plate. My flavors are good. This dish does show my potential. I'm hungry for it. Like, I need that apron. This is totally, like, freaking me out. The next apron belongs to Big Willie. <laughs> well done, big man. Willie. Maybe they'll call my name next time. Dan Wu. Yeah! Dan. Jamie. Tyler. The first couple aprons, I'm thinking, yay! There are oh, still so many more aprons to give out. Victoria. Boom! Christine. Kira. Each bloody apron is disappearing, and I'm starting to get very nervous. Christian. Aran. Cotter. George. Daniel. Daniel. They Daniel. keep calling names. Whitney. Then none of them are my name. This is the last apron. There's no way they cannot give me an apron. There's just absolutely no way. No, they best This has been a very tough decision. I want that apron so badly. I want this with every fiber of my being. The last apron in this challenge belongs to... I'm mentally preparing to make the phone call to my husband saying, now I'm coming home. Back right. Come on, man. Back right. If you don't win an apron, you go home. The last it's apron... Rare. In this challenge, belongs to her. Elizabeth. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, her. Okay. Oh, thank God. I'm officially a Master Chef competitor. Really good job, indeed. Congratulations. Well done. I finally feel validated and like I feel like I deserve to be here. Chad, am I wrong in thinking that, that that baking is like almost like a branch of cooking, but doesn't always mean that, that they're they're gonna be good and doesn't really show promise in like overall cooking? 
I, I feel like it, it's one way in and but then to do it not the other way around. This is the best moment of my life. You nine, please come down to the front. Tough one, though. Oh. Elise. All out. How are you feeling? Pretty devastated, to be honest. Why? Put my whole life on hold for this. It okay. was the start to something new. Uh, now I gotta figure out something else. Oh. Well. Listen, you made it this far because clearly you are talented home cooks. Yes, sir. But we are not sending you home. Giving up on you just yet. <laughs> oh, Already? You all face one last and final chance for some or all of you to earn a MasterChef apron. Just do red, red against blue. Team game fucking to death. In that first challenge, you had the full pantry at your disposal. Now, you'll all be cooking with the same exact ingredients. In the equipment room, each of you will find a refrigerator. In each refrigerator, you will find identical ingredients. The kind of things that you would find in millions of homes across America. Oh, add. Bacon, bell peppers, carrots, shrimp potatoes, and of course, the most popular protein, chicken. Along with all those classic American ingredients, you'll also have the use of our own MasterChef staple pantry box. So, in this challenge, you'll take the most common ingredients that can be found virtually in any fridge across the country and turn them into an amazing dish, good enough, enough. to earn you a MasterChef apron. But, unlike being in your own house, one of us is going to cook alongside you. <laughs> what is this script? <laughs> Holy shit. So, which of us three do you challenge? Astrid. Gordon Ramsay, I respect the hell out of you, so let's bring it, baby. You and I, mano a mano. Oh. Hey. I accept that challenge. Oh. I'll cook alongside all of you. You all have one hour to cook us something incredible, a dish that proves that you deserve to be in this competition. You're going to be cooking your dishes alongside Gordon Ramsay. He's going to show you what one day you can aspire to become. Now, is everyone ready? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Your one hour to keep yourselves in this competition starts now. Holy bugger and bollocks. We have a final challenge, an all-American challenge, and this is oh, time to prove that I'm not just a one-trick pony. Holy macaroni. Anyone in America tonight could go in the refrigerator and cook along. Everyone, oh, has I forgot. Everyone has bacon, everyone has a piece of chicken. I hope they have that imagination to use that hour to maximize in that flavor. Ten minutes gone, you ready? I was born ready, Graham. Uh -oh. Show us what you got, Chef. Oh, yeah. The code is off. Oh, okay. Nice snap. I am just flexing on everybody. Chef, might I ask? Please. What are you cooking? Wait and find out. <laughs> okay, guys, time Man, is running okay. down. Corey, what are you making? Uh, we're gonna do a potato and parmesan souffle and CFC, so, uh, Cory fried chicken. Now, this is a dish you might make at home? Yes. Have you made it before? Not in this exact way. Why I... would you, on such an important dish, why would you change the techniques? It's time to be baldy. Okay, no content, next. Lisa, how are you doing? Chef, it's a pleasure to be cooking behind you. What is that in there? This is the filling to a chicken pot pie. I'm about to roll out my dough. And do you not think it's a little bit dangerous doing a pie again? It is. Wow, I'm looking forward to that chicken pot pie. Yes, sir. Man. 
My kind of cooking is for feeding my family, so uh, I'm gonna make a stuffed chicken breast with spinach, mushrooms, and bacon. At the he end of like the day, if my crazy, children are eating at the table, I'm, 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 I wasted all that food for nothing. I'm 56 years old, and I'm a stay-at-home dad from Malibu, California. Come on in. Let me show you around. Well, my wife's the breadwinner. Married her with five children. She was tired of being a stay-at-home wife, and uh, she seems to make more money than I ever, ever would have. And things are good. I can't complain. I'd be a fool if I did. What the fuck? This when guy, hot, dude. Hot, I'm hot. Jeez. I'm make this happen. Guys, just over 15 minutes left. Oh, what? Let Does she cook like that? Lady? This is not gonna fly. This is disgusting. This is not how you work in restaurants. Everyone, listen up a second. We're not gonna tolerate disgusting working conditions. This is a kitchen. We have sanitary standards. This is dangerous. You're gonna fall. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt me. And I'm just not gonna tolerate it. It is, it is dangerous. Nine home cooks have been given a second chance to earn a white apron using the most common everyday ingredients. I don't, I, I don't handle... But while Gordon shows them what it takes to be a real master water. chef, some have not followed his example. Asterisk. Guys, this what, is what, not, what, what do you guys keep saying? We, we've seen, we've seen this. We've never seen this, guys. This is brand new episode five. Uh, season five of it. We've never seen this before. Not gonna fly. This is disgusting. This is not how you work in restaurants. I've never seen this before. Everyone, listen up What's a second. Here? We're not gonna tolerate disgusting working conditions. We have sanitary standards. This is dangerous, and I'm just not gonna tolerate it. Here we go. I'm going home. Back to my four children, the New Orleans. Take this as a warning. Because if you were in my kitchen, you'd be taking a taxi home. Wow, I'm embarrassed, but all I know is that yeah, right now, like two clips. Astrid, you've got to focus. I thought they had people that cleaned. Watch Gordon, look what he's doing. Yeah. He's, he's using the French coffee press right. to put the broth in with fresh herbs. So they'll keep steeping, so you're pressing those oils out of the I've never seen herbs. that technique, that's nice. Yeah, that's it's a, beautiful. That's a nice idea. Nine home cooks and one master chef. Interesting. Oh, she's shaking. Look at her. She's poor thing. Take a deep breath, Chandice. Take a deep breath. I am making frosty stacks, which are like potato pancakes with shrimp and a mint aioli. I'm from Idaho, so I'm going to make Idaho proud and make these potatoes perfect. I grew up on a farm, gardening with my mom, and then hunting with my dad. My parents taught me sustainability from a young age. When you are able to cook and put in fresh ingredients, it can really revolutionize your life. OK, interesting. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes left to cook. Oh, did that burn, Leslie? No, not really. Don't you worry about me. I'm not worried about you. All right. Damn. Got a lot up your sleeve, right? I got a lot of tricks up this sleeve. Show me. I don't need to show you. Just wait and see. Let the judges be You need one of these, right? Yeah, I want one of those. Okay. Maybe it might be yours. Ah. One minute left. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Let's go, Take it home, guys. Take it home. Let's go. Think about plating. Think yeah, about okay. style, finesse. Polish up those plates, last looks. This is where you can make a difference. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Where's Gordon going? Come on, baby. 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. There we go. Good job, guys. Good job. Bring it up, chef. Describe your dish, chef. A delicious uh, minted shrimp dumpling cooked in a sweet and sour Asian style broth. Please, one taste. dumpling, okay. I had a bird's eye view of Chef Ramsay's dish. That was an awesome looking dish. It's delicious, Chef. What's the heat from? The heat was from the ginger, the chili flakes, and then the caramelized uh, garlic. That is the standard that you should be aspiring to reach. Okay. With the following three home cooks, please bring their dishes up here. Corey, Leslie, and little Gordon. Let's go. Three of you make your way down to the front, please. First up, Gordon. 
please describe your dish. I have a pan-seared chicken breast that I marinated in soy sauce, ginger, and mustard. And then I have a soft-boiled egg and a potato puree. So there's another Gordon in this kitchen. Yeah. And he made this right here. And we look at yours. Now, if I didn't know who made what, I'd probably be able to know by now. Chef, that's like the right. World Series, and mine's like T-ball, I think. I don't even know if it's the same sport, <laughs> but... <laughs> Great flavor. The puree. What else is in that? Uh, a little bit of butter. And um, at the very end, I added a little bit of chicken stock. Overall, it's, it's a tasty dish that you want to eat some more of. So good job. Thank you, chef. Nice. Leslie. Oh. Describe your dish. It's uh, chicken breast stuffed with uh, mushroom, spinach, what and the bacon. Fuck is that? With a mashed potato and some carrots. Leslie, wh where do you live? Uh, Malibu, California. Malibu. I don't think all of Malibu could eat this portion tonight. So. <laughs> nice uh, seasoning on the chicken, nice crisp on the skin on the top. Good technique. Delicious food, absurd portions. Uh, Corey, let's go. Here we have fried chicken with sautéed spinach with a potato souffle and a Parmesan crisp. A souffle? It's a play on the souffle. As a golden rule in cooking, you never play with a souffle. Yes, chef. Is that really a souffle? It looks kind of deflated. It's kind of dead. Jesus! As a golden rule in cooking, you never play with a souffle. Yes, chef. How is that a souffle, dude? It's a deflated. Dude, it's inwards. Man. Wow. How did you get the chicken? It's too flat. Deep fried it at about <laughs> okay. 350 for 10 minutes or so, a little bit over, probably. Man. Here's the thing. I mean, if there's one stable across the country, it's, it's fried chicken. Soup. Yeah. Wow. Well, you're, you're sudden. So this stuff should be done with your eyes closed. Um, I broke the plate. My apologies. Um, the dish was broken way before that. Thank you. Man. It's hard. I understand. If you didn't think it was the best, it, it wasn't the best. But I definitely still feel like I have a decent chance. You utilize it time wise. Thank you. The egg was stupid. I had to prove to the chefs today that I could present an immaculate dish based upon ingredients we all have at home. Dude, I did that. We never seen this. to be up there. Guys, actually, stop. It's getting annoying. Guys, we did not watch. Guys, we watched like two or three clips or like three minutes of some of these characters. We never seen this in these episodes. What is on to you guys? I most certainly belong up there with any one of them. But at the oh, end sure, of the man. day, I think there are a lot of one trick ponies in there. And I don't want to be the only horse that gets kicked in the ass. All right, guys. We gave you a second chance. Not everybody can take that chance and turn it into an apron. Gordon. Yes, Chef. I'm sorry. You're not going back to uh, school. Oh, God. You guys, yeah. they should leave Gordon and, and Joe to do the, the delivery on the announcements. That was weak. That was weak, weak sauce. Graham is not oh made God. to Thank the you, dude. Chef. Thank you so much. Come on. Woo! <laughs> Corey. Yes, Chef. You know, I think that we all three agree that your future is not in the Master Chef kitchen. Understandable, Chef. It's the end of the road. Thank you so much. And then, Leslie, we have you. Do you really need this competition? Yes. I just need an honest to goodness chance to learn from some of the best people in the world. We think we can teach you some new tricks. Oh, that's cool. Come get your apron. Thank you very much. I promise you, you won't regret it. Thank you. All right. Great job. The next three home cooks are Astrid, Amy, and Michael. Let's start off with Astrid, describe your dish. Pan seared chicken breast with a potato hash, as well as a butter stock emulsion sauce. That 
looks kind of boring. Chickens now. Potatoes, bacon, delicious. Really good indeed. Seasoned. Lemon. Looks good. Totally though. unnecessary. Overall, flavor's there. Thank you. Amy, please bring your dish forward. So today I made two tacos, a shrimp taco and a chicken taco with a chimichurri sauce and Okay, I'm going to say it. She's boring. Salsa. This is a producer no. I like the shrimp, yeah. but the chicken is pretty dry. This is a Next producer up, production. Fucking that everybody know it at the back. With uh, pan roasted chicken and a corn box shoe topped with a poached egg. I want you to try that. Oh, it's too salty. Uh, one apron, three home cooks. This apron belongs to middle. Astrid. Astrid, yeah. Oh Come together. <laughs> Predictable. Thank you. Good dish, but clean it up in the kitchen. Out of the three to only get that one apron, it's a fantastic feeling. Hoorah! OK, guys. final three. Please make your way down to the front. OK, Francis, please bring us your plate. I feel like how much effort have so they put in the characters all three make it. Here. It is a spinach pasta with a creamy, spicy sauce underneath with sous vide shrimp. What's the idea behind this? <laughs> it was called runaway shrimp. Vide. My concept was it would look like seaweed and the shrimp were leaving and running away from the seaweed. Sous vide. <laughs> Guys, no. they, they, they try to impress the cooks and show their, their skills and their technique. Let's get a sous vide fucking shrimp. I hope shrimps. that it tastes great. Pasta's great. The shrimp are delicious, but this is the sauce here. Yes. That was made from the heads. Subit is not cooking. I'm not sure. Chandis, please bring us your dish. What's this dish called? This is a rosti stack with spinach, shrimp, and mint. A rusty stack? It's potato pancakes, essentially. You know, the shrimp, they're cooked fine. But you know one of the worst offenses in the MasterChef kitchen? No. Serve us raw potatoes. Have a bite. Oh, it's crunchy. Oh, yeah, it's crunchy for sure. Is it raw? It is raw. Oh, you made her say it. That's. Last up, Elise. Describe your dish. It's chicken pot pie and it's succotash with roasted chicken, mushrooms, Lady. carrots. Another bloody pie. Two pies in one night. <laughs> Redemption pie. Seriously? Yes. Just serve the whole Here's balcony. The really bizarre news. Now you're starting to freak me out slightly because it actually does taste good. Thank you, chef. But it's a pot pie. I understand. I wanted you to come out your comfort zone, not dive back in it. However, it may look a mess, but there is something there. I might be the underdog right now, but I am scrappy, and I will fight for a privilege to please, please cook at this kitchen. Hey, Dean, it's not a good looking. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I left everything out on that plate. It is very disheartening to feel that you have disappointed yourself and the judges. Interesting. You think it's a good look? I don't think it's a good look. Clearly three very talented home cooks fighting to continue that incredible journey across this competition. You Chandis, ask and you earn by cooking. You had not 60 by minutes talking and to prove asking. your potential to us. There were some incredible moments across those 60 minutes, but you had some elements that were unforgivable. Chandis, your journey started tonight, and it's ending tonight. I'm sorry, it's just not good enough to warrant an apron. Thank you. Good night. 
It's been such an honor to be in the Master Chef Kitchen. I'm so proud of myself for doing it. I didn't know what to expect jumping into this oh. awesome challenge, but I definitely leave here a stronger person. Yo, did I just get spoiled by a fucking Twitch partner? Yo, are you, are you fucking kidding me right now? Francis, I wanted you to cook again tonight. To see what basic skills you have up your sleeve. To I see what you're like with up. just good, humble ingredients. You made a very bold move, making pasta for the very first time. What the fuck is that? Francis, your journey is going to continue. Congratulations. <laughs> get that apron handed to me by Gordon Ramsay, the most iconic chef to me in the world. It's just, I can't, oh, this is overwhelming. <laughs> Elise, I know how much this means to you, but my frustration, I wasn't convinced by the pies in the first round. We give you a second chance, another pie re-emerges. I want this privilege to be here. I want to cook with all these amazing people. And I want to prove my worth to myself and to you. Oh, young lady. I'm sorry. You are not going upstairs to the balcony. Oh. Yes, yeah, chef. Because they are coming down to congratulate you. This script on. Welcome. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. I won't let you down. No more pies. No more pies. Thank you. Getting that apron and then to shake Chef Ramsay's hand and for him to say congratulations, I don't know. This might be the best day of my entire life so far. <laughs> You are the top 22. Congratulations! <laughs> you all should be incredibly proud because we are, and now, one of you 22 talented oh, 22, home cooks though. standing in front of us is going to become America's next master chef. Make sure it's you. I don't mind having this many. And next time on. I don't, I don't mind having this many. Uh, hopefully they, they, they break them down fast. You know? Chat, I'll watch one more. Guys, guys, guys. I, want them, I, guys. I want them in the mood, okay, guys? guys I, I love streaming. I love watching videos with chat, okay? I have to be honest, though. The amount of, the amount of like, spoilers or fake spoilers or, like, weird, like, complaints still with spoilers in chat today has been just really odd. I don't know what's happening, man. Can we, can we chill a little bit, man? It's been, like... Guys, I, I've, I've been watching this, like, literally, like, about half, like, 50%. Yo, normally I put like like 110% attention on watching and having fun uh, talking about the chat or whatever, uh, watching. But today it's been like, it's been kind of dank. Like it's been really, really dank. I've been like half watching, half monitoring the chats. Fuck.